hours. So again, be prepared for the heat. Again, we are still in hurricane season, even though everything has been rather quiet across the area. In fact, long range models really not showing anything popping up, which is really nice in the Gulf of Mexico. Quiet for the next seven to 10 days. You can see there's a tropical wave over the Yucatan Peninsula. It's not going to do much, not going to develop into anything. In fact, it's going to be a rainmaker to portions of Mexico as we head into the weekend. But there is an area, the National Hurricane Center, they have highlighted this area. It's a weak area of low pressure, the convection, um, really on the eastern side of where the center of this uh, tropical wave is, has a 20% chance of development in the next five days. Upper level winds will continue to shred this area that we are watching. It's not going to do much, but it is going to bring a significant rain to portions of the Carolinas as we head into the weekend. So they're going to have to continue to watch that. Over the Atlantic Basin, we're looking at trop tropical waves meandering over the ocean. Lots of dry air in place over the ocean. In fact, that's Saharan dust meandering over the ocean. So that is going to hinder any tropical development. So there are no named storms we are tracking. Nothing concerning as of right now, which is really nice. So the tropics are quiet. And so far, just to recap, we've had 20 named storms. Uh, in the hurricane of the hurricane season here. We still have Wanda left on the list and it looks like as of right now, it looks like nothing will become Wanda in the near term. So here's a look at your seven day forecast. The hot, not as humid, 10% coverage for showers, 87 and 86 degrees tomorrow. The weekend forecast looks hot, dry, low humidity. And again, the next best chance for rain will be on Tuesday and that's a 10% coverage. Thanks so much, Michelle.